Darling Heart and welcome to the Drink Less, Live Better podcast. This is the podcast that helps you to see that drinking less doesn't need to be stressful, lonely or boring. I'm your host, Sarah Williamson, and I decided to have a year alcohol free as a little life experiment and haven't looked back. With my experience and training, I now help other women with their alcohol-free or drink-less adventures. I'm here to tell you that you can be truly joyful without alcohol in your life. Join me here each week to find out how. A question. Do I have to do this sober thing forever? Answer. No. Result. The shortest podcast episode ever. Should we leave it there, or is there room for a bit of expansion here? Okay, a few thoughts then. Let's begin by focusing on the right now. Have you been alcohol-free or drinking significantly less for an extended period of time? If not, then I'd kindly suggest you give it more than six months to really feel and enjoy all the benefits of it. If you've been alcohol-free for more than a year, then what better questions can we ask than, is this forever? How do I feel better now than when I was drinking? For me, the answer to that is an unequivocal yes. I know for sure that I'm better physically, emotionally and spiritually for not drinking. So for now, I carry on. What are the bits that you're missing from your drinking life? Be careful before you answer this. Make sure you're not romanticising or looking back with rose-tinted glasses when you remember the good stuff. Make sure you acknowledge the bad. If you can pinpoint what you feel you're missing and come up with an alternative that will serve you well. I sometimes feel I miss random, rambling conversations that were only born out of a loss of inhibition and vulnerability but I've found my people, those who are prepared to have those random conversations with me sober. If you know who you are, you know who you are. Find a way to reintroduce the missing bit of your life. Can you swap your night out dancing for a day rave? Can you swap dressing up for a night out for dressing up for a day out? Can you swap wine tastings for day spas? So back to the question, do I have to do this forever? The answer is still no, but for me, I want to. When I decided to try my alcohol-free life experiment, I knew I could easily do a month. I had evidence in the form of previous dry Januaries and sober Octobers, and was pretty sure I could do three months or even six. But a year felt questionable, outside my comfort zone, and definitely a bit challenging. Did I have to commit to a year? No. But I wanted to. The reason it helped was because it pushed the decision away. Once I'd got started on a year, I didn't really question my decision, I just carried on with it. No one makes us choose the goals we set for ourselves. If I'm never doing this again, or I'm doing this forever feels good for you, then brilliant, I'm delighted for you. Say the words out loud and then back them up with action. I'm doing an alcohol-free experiment for a year, felt like a good statement to me, a thought I was happy to have in my head. It made me feel full of possibility and led me to behave as if I could do it and feel great about it. I didn't feel trapped and I didn't feel overwhelmed. If I'd have given myself a thought like, I'm never drinking again, that would have led to feelings of being trapped or deprived and would possibly have led to me behaving like a toddler in full meltdown. I know that it was better to choose not to put me in that position and certainly that was better for my family too. Nothing we choose in life has to be forever. We can always reroute, reverse or replan. We can change we can adapt, and we can say what we do want and what we don't want. We can change our minds about who we are. I used to be the life and soul of the party, leading the chance to the dance floor and last off the dance floor. I'm retired from all that now. I'm joyfully retired from all that. I don't have to do it, and I'm choosing the things I do want. Thank you for listening to this episode. Please listen in again next time. 
You can sign up for my five-day Drink Less experiment and find out about working with me one-to-one at drinklesslivebetter.com. I'd love it if you could five-star rate this podcast and leave me a review. All that shizzle helps, you know. Thank you. And P.S. I believe in you.